Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about dependencies. You may find it saves time to use a package created by someone else instead of creating it all from scratch. If you're using Python, you'd likely be using the pip package manager. For JavaScript, you'd probably be using npm. For PHP, you might use Composer. And there are many other package ecosystems you could be using. One of the risks of using packages is that when the code gets updated, it will get updated in your code as well. And the way you use the project might break if the package released a major update they do not account for. One way to solve this issue is by writing specific version numbers in your requirements file. If you're using JavaScript, this would be your package.json file. If you're using Python, you could put it in a requirements.txt or similar file. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a dependabot to a Python project that has a requirements.txt file. First of all, in this requirements.txt file, each line is a dependency. Discord.py is a package which provides an API wrapper for Discord, and Python.env allows easily fetching environment variables. Each of these packages has a version number, and every time the package is updated, the version number will go up and potentially new features could be introduced that could break the code. In order to prevent package updates from breaking your code, it's advisable to use version numbers with your package names. If you want to find out what version of a package you have installed on your computer, you can type into the console pip freeze, and it'll list all the dependencies that you have installed in your environment. I can see that discord.py is over here with version 1.6.0. So I can copy this line instead, put discord.py equals equals 1.6.0. This will tell pip to install version 1.6.0 when it installs discord.py. Now python.env is also going to be on this list. A shortcut to find something like this would be to use the grep command on a Unix system by saying pip freeze and then a vertical bar you can say grep, and then you could say python.env, and this will filter the lines to show only ones that contain this text. And now you can see this is the line that I was searching for. Now that I've added version numbers to this code, I can put this on GitHub. I'll click quickly push these changes, and then I'll show you how to add Dependabot so you can automatically keep your dependencies updated. Now let's head over to GitHub. Now if we look at the GitHub page, we can see that we have our requirements.txt file here with these version numbers, and these might not be the latest version. If we want to keep these up to date, I'll show you how to add Dependabot. First, click on the Insights tab, and click on Dependency Graph. Here will show you a list of dependencies that you've defined, and if you click on the Dependabot tab, you should see a button to enable Dependabot. Click Enable Dependabot, create config file. Now in this line over here, the package ecosystem, you'll need to define which type of packages you want to check for updates with. If you're using pip packages, you type pip here. For npm, you type npm. For composer, you put composer. I'm going to put pip because I'm using pip packages. Now I'll create a pull request to add Dependabot to my project. Now the changes are in our main branch. So now if we take a look, we have a dependabot.yml file in the .github folder, and it tells us that it'll be checking daily for pip updates. Now if we go back to the Insights tab under Dependency Graph, we'll see dependabot now says it's checking. So it's checking for changes in, with pip packages, which we'll find in the requirements.txt file. Anytime it finds one, it'll open a pull request. It may take several minutes for the pull request to start showing up. After waiting a few minutes, you should see a notification 
and this will show you dependent bot created two pull requests on my project. The first pull request is to bump python.env from 0.15.0 to 0.17.1. Here we can read release notes. We can see what changes were made. And if we'd like to, we can compare and see all commits that were made to the project. And we should test our code with the newest version to make sure that nothing is broken. Once you have verified that everything is still working, you can merge the pull request. Confirm merge. And you'll see that this change was made to the file. It bumped 0 0.15.0 to 0.17.1. Now let's look at the other pull request. It's to bump discord.py from 1.6.0 to 1.7.2. You can again see the commits. And you'll see resolve conflict, that's because we just merged a pull request that changed this file, and now since it's so close together, there might be conflicts. But Dependabot will deal with this for you. I can simply refresh the page, and you'll see that Dependabot is rebasing this PR. That means that it's updating its changes so that there will be no conflicts. Now you'll see that they forced to push this branch, and if we refresh the page again, you'll see that there's no conflicts, and this will just change 1.6.0 to 1.7.2. Now let's merge this pull request. And that's it. If we look at our requirements.txt now, we have the latest version of discord.py and the latest version of python.env. And anytime there's a new update, we will get another pull request from Dependabot telling us to review the new changes to the package and update our requirements to use the latest version. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!